Here's a quick tutorial for classic extensions and prep for beginners. First things first, we're just going to tape down the face mask. And I like to use a really sticky tape because this has to last and stay down for pretty much two hours throughout the entire appointment. And then I'm just going to apply the gel pad. So what I like to do is kind of brush the lower lashes a couple times to make sure that they're underneath the gel pad. And when I'm ready to put it down, I ask the client to close their eyes. And then just make sure that it's flat. And after that, I'm just preparing two pieces of tape to put on the lower lash line. So when I apply the tape, I always ask the client to open their eyes and close while I'm putting the tape down. And this really helps with the client's eyes when they're kind of sensitive to the light. So again, we're going to ask her to open. And then once we have the correct position, we will ask the client to close their eyes while I set the tape down. And then I just make sure to readjust the gel pad and the tape. Usually it's going to be at the corners and then set it down again. And again with the inner corners. Next, I like to cut two thin strips of tape and use them to gently pull or stretch the eyelid. This will really help spread out the lash line. This is a good taping technique because you can readjust the tape anytime throughout the appointment to help you see the lashes better and it helps make it a lot easier for you. So don't be afraid to use tape or even gel pads to help you with this. You always want to isolate the natural lash first and then pick up, dip and apply the extension to the natural lash. I personally like to work on natural lashes that are easiest for me to isolate first because natural lashes tend to grow in all sorts of angles or directions so you want to make sure that the extension is applied in the correct direction to follow the natural curvature of the eye in order to create a very seamless lash line. So as you can see here, when working on the outer third of the eye, I'm applying the extensions in an angle that follows the curvature of the natural lash line. You want to apply the lashes throughout the eye and spread out the placement so that you can slowly build up the entire lash line. Doing this also helps let the freshly applied extensions cure and gives it time to dry so that you don't accidentally push its neighboring lashes into it. Sometimes this can cause stickies, which is when lashes get stuck to the extensions next to it. So for the rest of the video, we wanted to show you what it looks like to apply classic lashes and how to slowly build out the lash line. Let us know in the comments below if you have any more questions about classic lashes. Don't forget to subscribe for more lash tips and tutorials.